Hi, my name is Kyle Ekstrom. I am Ramel. And I'm here to talk about my song today called Sad Girls. And uh, basically, the meaning behind the song is uh, sort of like a message to someone. I wrote it sort of like that to someone who I saw was actually going through some tough stuff on social media. And it was more or less like, you know, telling them, um, you know, it's going to be all right. Uh, what was the recording process like? Well, the recording process was, um, I wrote it in June or July 2018, and I had my guitarist here, Ramel, record some guitar to it, and my engineer, Joe, at Word of Mouth Recordings, um, you know, I had some things to it, but it kind of went off of, um, it kept my synths and my, you know, just arrangements. And we just recorded it there with uh, Joe. Yeah, I remember when you brought the song to me originally, you already had the guitars already finished. Um, but they were like kind of demo-y guitars, and you were like, hey, um, since you do guitars, Ramel, uh, why don't you re-record them? And I kind of had the same setup as Joe has, just, you know, a little bit more newer because I'm still fresh on the scene for recording. And um, I basically just redid the guitars for him, sent it over so that all the tracks kind of had the same guitars that, you know, I did to keep the consistency with the guitars. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Yep. Let's see. What was the writing process like? Writing process. Well, when I first started recording to it, um, Right from the get-go, I had a melody in my head, and it was just there, and, you know, just in my chest. But I thought it would be different, or it would be better if I came up with something different. So I did, and I started recording some lyrics to that. But it just didn't feel right, didn't sound right. So I went back and recorded to that original uh, melody that I had, and it just, it totally made it, you know? And it was just, that was the one. And, um... Yeah, I just, you know, the, I just thought about the situations that I was thinking of and just penned, you know, what I wanted to write about to it, to that melody, and it just kind of just poured out naturally. As far as, like, the, um, the instrumentation for the song, uh, like I said, I did the guitars for the song, like, re-recording the guitars, and I remember... When you first came to me about it, you also wanted me to do the bass for it. Mm -hmm. And fun fact, um, when uh, you asked me to do the bass, I was too lazy to replace the strings on my bass. So I was like, you know what? This song would sound really nice with an electronic bass. And that's that's how the bass of that song yeah. kind of came to be, because I was just lazy. And it's, uh, there's natural bass in there too, I yeah. think, yeah, with the electronic bass. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things about that song is um, the synthesizers, the synthesizer lead, you know, that's one of my favorite synths. I was just um, looking for a particular sound when I first like wrote it and I found this like sound and it was just like a, like an, almost like a detuned lead and there was just something that spoke to me when I heard it, and I just knew that I need to use this sound on this song, and I just, you know, I knew it right away when I heard that that synth, that this is the one for this song. And that was with uh, Splice, right? Is that Serum? Um, yeah, I think, yeah. It's not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, who did you work with? <sighs> okay, um, well, me and Ramel here worked on the song, um, you know, just writing the instrumentation and uh, I wrote the lyrics and melody. And Joe Scaletta of Word of Mouth Recordings, um, you know, recorded it when I recorded it and just uh, helped a little bit, you know, with some, some other things like so a little bit of structure here and there. And Christopher Crummett of Interlace Audio did the mastering. 
and I think he's in Portland, Oregon. Portland. So yeah, when we were done, we uh, I sent it over to him for mastering. Shooting the video was pretty interesting. I remember uh, when we first met up with uh, Joseph McNamara of Hollowbox, and you know he um, he had this idea to go shoot in a bunch of locations for the performing parts. And he, you know, he picked out some pretty cool places, like um, this one field we got to had a really cool sunset. Mm -hmm. So we were, did, you know, some shooting there. And that field has a lot of dead frogs now that we uh, were there, because we were there for probably twenty or thirty minutes, not too long, because golden hour is just like not even an hour yeah. here in Illinois. And um, when we first got there, um, I was in the car with Kyle and. The videographer was in another car and he kind of just sped off on this like one random road in like the middle of nowhere illinois and we were like where did he go we need to try to catch him yeah he ended time. up calling us too yeah and he's like hey i stopped up and when we got when he finally reached up to him we thought he crashed because there was like another car like on the side of the road right and um like we got there and he's like oh the sunset's beautiful here. Let's shoot some scenes here. And um, there was a point during editing that we were, we were even like, are we even going to use these scenes? Yeah. Because a lot of them were like dark in this. That was like the uh, the scenes that were like in the sunset yeah. of that video. There was a lot of uh, just like, you know, like the, the darkness kind of, it didn't really ruin it, but like the color correction, uh, just fixed it. We were just really unsure of like what you know, what we were going to do, and uh, but everything worked out. And then um, for the other scenes, I shot it with uh, Rachel V, uh, who's a model and actress, and we kind of like set up a like a sort of like a little set type thing, and you know, we just kind of rolled with it, and you know, like I had a couple ideas, but she came up with like pretty much everything. And uh, she was really, really uh, just pretty much directed it. So that was cool. And putting, you know, the clips together, you know, everything just worked out. And, uh, you know, the narrative and, and the performing parts just kind of uh, just played out really, really cool. So my question is, since I wasn't there when you recorded with Rachel, the yeah. singer, what was, like, I, I kind of heard that, like, she kind of directed it and kind of was it a surprise when she did all that crazy stuff with the... yeah yeah i didn't expect for her, her to have all these like ideas outside of you know what i had you know and it was really really cool what was your like, reaction um i was surprised and you know like when i saw some of those clips like um it like gave it a better narrative and you know it was really it made it like pop sort of you know yeah i know when i saw it for the first time i was not yeah <laughs> i don't know it's i was it's very surprised like, too. abstract and you know has a bit of its own yeah. aesthetic to it um i think it's like my favorite thing about the video is sort of to kind of make you uncomfortable towards mm -hmm. the end You're like you know what's this mean here what's this about and you know just kind of like the the marriage between the song and the uh, video mm -hmm. just is kind of where i wanted the art to go you know but um yeah check out my uh, new song sad girls on youtube spotify um pretty much everywhere farmers yeah. only <laughs> <laughs> i'm not there well right. i'm gonna put it on there. <laughs>